All right, welcome back to EU4. Uh, just won this big battle in Elfsborg. I didn't even look at that, but this province is called Elfsborg. I love that. Um, might as well be called Rivendell. Um, we just won that big battle. We're going to have to siege down Lund again, which is extremely annoying. And they increased it. they already capped out the garrison there basically um so we're gonna have to start from scratch but what are you gonna do how many times am i gonna say that <laughs> but uh let's get started on that try to you know try to wrap this war up because we are burning through our manpower pretty quick um we are managing to blockade it which is nice um that siege is going to go considerably faster now. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, and yeah, there's something else I was going to look at. Um, I th think that Denmark just ended his war with uh, Novgorod. He did. So he won't be distracted by that anymore, unfortunately. Um, no, I want the merchants to have more influence, not less. Ugh. That's highly annoying. And now the nobility are too powerful. Oh, good. Granted, General Sip goes away next year, so this should be okay. Um, just hope I don't get any more bad events. Um, it goes away... October 4th of 1465, and this de de disaster is going to fire in 1468, so should be fine. That gives us plenty of time. Yeah! Hell yeah! Look at that! I went fishing for a personal union over Pomerania, and I just got it without even having to work for it. So, that's awesome. Uh, Pomerania's got a bunch of cores on uh, on all this land um, the Emperor is going to defend that territory but I might be able to call Poland in and that's just great I mean that's that's fantastic um, I mean they don't have a huge number of cores but they've got you know all the way up to Strassland here that's a bunch of coastline that I, I you know I've taken, basically. Um, they've got some claims. That's awesome. I'm happy about that. Let's wrap this war up so we can we can start looking at that. Um, and of course, that the, their army is my army now. I mean, it's not my army, but it's under, you know... They're basically my vassal, so they don't get to start their own wars, and they got to join all mine. Um... Although hopefully that doesn't mean that uh, they're going to go get sieged, sieged down. Um, I kind of want them to like march their way up this way into my country. Uh, so their army doesn't just get killed. But they probably won't do that in all, all seriousness. Um, but we're sieging this down. It looks like they might want to fight me. I was also thinking um, before I started this video, it might be better to use my um, my general with good maneuver here instead of my general with good shock, um, because if I had a general, the general with good move maneuver, I could force them to take. I think, unless I'm wrong, I could force them to take a crossing penalty here. Which, since this is a straight, would give them a negative two on their rolls. Um, would that be better than having the essentially plus two on our shock rolls against their one shock leader? Like with my three shock leader, I mean. I don't. I don't know. Um, but I think I'm gonna try that. I think I'm gonna try that. So let's just um, have those guys run back and grab my. Uh, three maneuver general. Um, put 
put him over here. It looks like they want to go uh, siege um, my new little buddy over, over here down, which is annoying. Um, and unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to help him out very easily. Um, Lund just fell. So let's... I think we ought to just put pressure on his capital and uh, and just mess with him. Um, so yeah, they are marching all the way down to uh, to my vassal. Hopefully, he knows well enough to just run around, not get his army killed, and hopefully, we can wrap this up before um, we have to worry about that. This army has inf insufficient support. That's what's annoying about, uh... Yeah, you know what? They're already, they're already leaving. I'm just gonna sit on, um... I'm just gonna sit on Shaland with my, uh, whole army. Probably take a little more attrition than I need to, but whatever. They're gonna have... A difficult time sieging this down. It, it It's only a level 1 fort, but it's not blockaded. Um, so it's acting like a level 3 fort. Um, and we've got a better a better chance of taking it, of uh, finishing the siege. Um, we've got a good chance of finishing it faster than, um, than they finish this siege. So... That's what I'm going to go for. What what would I be able to take now? I can't take that because I don't occupy Akershus, which is annoying. But I could take that, that, that. Not quite that. <laughs> um, coalition might form of Denmark. I don't, I don't care about that at all. Um, but once we occupy Shaland, um, I, again... Can I just say, uh, what is this? What Copenhagen? Yeah, I'm just gonna say Copenhagen. W one of these days, I'm gonna look up um, how to pronounce pr how to pronounce you know Swedish and Danish and and whatnot, so that I can actually you know say these names without embarrassing myself. But for now, I'm just gonna say Copenhagen, Stockholm, you know, that kind of thing. Um, sh sure, <laughs> still go once out, I'm fine with that, that gives us a little more war score, and I bet makes Denmark feel even less excited, um, about being in this war, I'm, I just, ah, oh, Pomerania went and got his armor killed, sorry Pomerania, oh, no, he, he managed to get away, what a smart little guy, um, you know, Dithmarschen. What if... Here, Pomerania, what if you set on Dithmarschen? And, uh... And we could piece them out. That would be pretty cool. Norway is, of course, running around and causing problems up there. But I don't care. That's the thing, is I don't care about that. Blah, pardon me. Um... Because once Shaolin falls, I'm going to be able to take all three of these, all four of these provinces. Um, and I might consider keeping the war going on a little bit longer. Oh, n oh, okay, rebels. Well, that's not good, obviously. I, I totally forgot that there were rebels over there. Uh, that's a consequence of me uh, recording and kind of... Uh, Playing a little bit looser than I usually do, but, um, but that's fine. Uh, right now, what's important is the war, and I can deal with, uh, I can deal with those rebels later. Um, ouch! This is a not good event. Um, is my heir of age yet? He's coming of age like right now, so I'm actually going to lose the legitimacy, and then after this war. I'll just abdicate and get my heir on the throne. He's secretive. Okay. 
All right, Sheldon has fell, fallen. Or Copenhagen has fallen. Um, they'll give us these four provinces. Uh, I do want the humiliate too, but that's going to be so expensive. That's going to be so expensive. What's the mission? Conquers all provinces in the Vaster Gotland area controlled. So that's this which means taking this province and then uh, Skanaland, which I assume is this, yeah. Oh, I want so many things from this war. Um, What to do in this situation? Could get a bunch of money from them, I bet. Yeah, I could get 200 ducats straight to me. Um, almost 300, actually. Um, which would just... Okay, it wouldn't quite pay off my debt. I went, into, I went a little harder into debt than I thought I did. Um, but it would certainly help me pay on paying off my debt. I could get all of the state and then just wait until the next war to go after Norway. And it would give me a chance to take care of these rebels and take a look at, uh, at doing stuff with Pomerania. I think that's what I'm going to do. It's a little di bit disappointing. Um... I know it would be more exciting if I, uh, if I push this war harder, and it would it would be more optimal definitely if I push this war harder, and uh, and you know just ate all the land that I could, but um, you know to be honest with you, I I really don't want to lose wars um, when I'm recording because um, that would be embarrassing. Um, so I'm going to call it here, take this state, um, get a bunch of money, which, again, basically only helps me pay off my debt that I got in this war, so not that exciting. But I get a state out of it. <laughs> what are you going to do? Again, there's me saying that. But, uh... Oh, and I should have... I ought to have uh, made him annul some of... Uh, well, he's only allied to Dithmartian at this, at this point, so... That's actually totally fine. Um, Alright, let's send this army over here to... Uh, siege this back down. What might happen is that... Uh, and I've uh, eclipsed Livonian order, apparently. Um, and I also expanded Sweden. How about that? Um, I might as well gain the development there. Um, could buy the next level of military technology. Once again, I'm going to wait on that um, until I'm at war. Um, because, you know, what's the point of being ahead of military technology if you're at peace? Um... So, mm, pardon me. Um, I've got Pomerania as a personal under a personal union. I could retake cores against Brandenburg and Bohemia, although Brandenburg has more of the cores. Um, Austria would get called in naturally because I am not a uh, member of the Holy Roman Empire. Um, what would it take to call Poland in? If Poland, if I had 10 favors and Poland wasn't in another war, then they would definitely help me out with this. So I can, I can just wait on that. Um, oh, and I was also going to uh, abdicate. 
No! Legitimacy must be at least 50 to abdicate. Oh, that's annoying. That's annoying. So I shouldn't have, uh... I shouldn't have lost the legitimacy on that event. Uh, I thought you could abdicate with low legitimacy, but that's just not true. <laughs> so uh, now I know that. Um, we'll pull off this embargo on the Livonian Order since I'm not their rival anymore. And I will rival somebody else like Bohemia. Uh, since I am going to end up uh, giving some of their land to my little buddy. Um, they're not allied with, like, one of my friends, are they? No, they're not. Um, in fact, that should make... No, Poland isn't rivaled by me. But anyway, that doesn't matter. Um, let's embargo them, just for giggles. Um, oh, not, I need to start these cores, obviously. And, oh, uh, all right, I'm going to do something a little bit silly here, but I'm going to spend quite a bit of monarch power, 300 military points on boosting my legitimacy. I'm going to get rid of this terrible ruler. Um, we lose a lot of prestige for doing that, but that's fine. I can make prestige back. And now we've got... King Belafon, the first. He's 15, so he'll live, live for a good long time, and he's got good, um, good point generation. Um, he's, so my separatists are running down somewhere into, oh, he's running to Tver. <laughs> Poor Tver. I, I screwed him over so bad. Um, no Mecklenburg. I, I still don't think I'm interested in Royal marrying you. Um, merchants have such little uh, influence. I bet if I took their province away, then they would just have zero and they would just go away. Um, but I don't want to do that because I like having the burgers around. Uh, but we're uh, sieging that down, so we'll take that fort back. Um, we got a Sweden event here, so Charles Gustavus's selection as Crown Prince came about only with promises of change for the peasants and burghers at the Riksdag of 1650. A little early for that, uh, 200 years early just about, but uh, anyway, so we can pass some sort of reform, so lower autonomy everywhere, get money, or get stability. I think I want stability. Um, I don't think I have particularly bad autonomy. Um, I've got some some not great autonomy. Um, but still, I think it's better to just get the free stability. TBH. Um, let's detach my trade ships and protect trade in, not privateer, protect trade in the Baltic Sea. And then I'll send my galleys over to blockade this fort so it'll go down a little faster. And we'll pay off some of this debt. Pay off the ones that uh, are coming due relatively soon. And then I'll keep the rest of the money around for now. Um, I'm also going to lower maintenance. Um, turn my forts off. Um, I do need to watch out for uh, that rebel army coming back around here. But I think it's just gonna... It's just gonna sort of run around here and then hopefully Muscovy will kill it or something. But yeah, back to making money. We'll be able to pay, pay that debt off. Um... And that'll be good. These claims are going to finish up pretty soon. They'll finish up next year. And that will... Should earn us quite a bit of uh, extra money. And make us a good bit stronger. Oh no! Novgorod went bankrupt. How long? When's my truce with them run out? 
I don't think I have a truce with them. No, I do, I do. Uh, goes up in two years. I could definitely attack them um, in two years and just... Just crap all over them, basically, because they're bankrupt and that means their armies are bad. Um, so yeah, let's fabricate some more claims on them, because that's going to be easy, easy money for me, basically. And they are still my rival, so that might be where I finally get that uh, uh, humilia humiliation that I've been trying to get. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm feeling good. Um, I think that war... Oh, I got another event here. Ooh, gain a bunch of developments for spending some monarch power or lose prestige. Again, we've got... Uh, Okay, this one doesn't have a date attached to it, but I, I probably this is a uh, this is again happening a little early, um, but definitely uh, let's reform and, and get that extra extra development monarch points. Kind of expensive monarch point wise, but I bet it was a good deal um, considering how much it would have cost to. No, Novgorod is not a valid rival anymore. That sucks, um, but is not altogether. Um, it's not all that surprising. Um, at least we don't have to deal with those rebels anymore. Now we've got Danish rebels. Um, but I bet that'll go away pretty quickly, um, once we get these cores in place. Um, yeah, the overextension and the war exhaustion is, is hurting us there, and that'll go away soon. Um... Okay, that's about uh, that's about time. So again, we're not we're not you know we're not blowing up. That's we're not going crazy, but uh, we're making good, steady progress. I feel like um, really excited to get this personal union for free. Um, I ought to see if I can snag another one of those. Maybe over Brunswick. That would be cool. Can Brunswick, you want to get married? Why not? improve relations with Brunswick and see if he wants to get married but we will uh, we'll see about see about that next time uh, thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time bye